Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. My name is Luke, just in case you do not know. This is Redemption Week. That's right, Redemption Week continues. With week one, we had the MSR Zoic two-person tent. With week two, we had the Light Fighter Catamount 2 tent. Previously, you may have seen the test night episode and the follow-up response from the company. In the test night episode, I discovered that this tent leaked horribly. There was so much water inside of this tent. It was all over my sleeping bag, just huge pools. It was a complete failure. Since that event took place, I've been in touch with Light Fighter and they discovered a flaw with the recent run. So they've recalled those. This is a brand new version and I am here to test it out. The question is, how waterproof will this tent be? Will there be any issues? The forecast is for rain to begin tonight and it's going to continue throughout tomorrow. Roughly half an inch is going to fall according to the forecast. The tent will be exposed to all of this rain and then if there's no leaking, I will spend the night in the tent to see just how well it performs when it comes to ventilation, condensation, and so on. Just in case you didn't see the test night episode or the follow-up, check the description box. You will find links to those videos. With that being the case, everyone, let the testing begin. Good luck, Light Fighter. Let's see how this goes. There's a pause in the weather, everyone, and it's time to check out the Light Fighter Catamount 2 tent. Has it leaked? Let's find out. Well, everyone, there has been no leaking. This tent is 100% dry. Way to go, Light Fighter. This is what I expected to see with this tent. My experiences with the company have been extremely positive over the years. When it comes to military, when it comes to tactical tents, that is the company that I recommend. The versatility, the quality, in my opinion, is very good. So yeah, this is a good start. This is a good first test. All in all, the rain event wasn't that impressive. I would say maybe a quarter inch of rain. It was steady, but not very heavy. So I'm going to continue to test out this product. There's a break in the weather with more rain coming in tomorrow night and maybe even some snow and sleet. So I will be out for the test night episode tomorrow in this tent to see how well it handles moisture, condensation, airflow, all of those important factors. Now that I see that this is in fact waterproof, it is time to continue on with the testing. After the previous issues, I was going to wait to see how well it performed, but it's done well. Again, folks, in my opinion, this is one of the coolest four season military tents on the market. The setup process is just super, super simple. Yes, it is extremely heavy. You're not going to pack this anywhere. It's going to be a car camp sort of thing, but that's the case with a lot of four season tents. That's the case with a lot of military tents. It boils down to the right place, the right time sort of thing. Anyways, folks, that's enough talking for now. I will be back tomorrow night when the rain and the snow moves in. Here we are everyone, inside of the Catamount 2 tent. Test night continues. It is quite a bit colder tonight than it was last night. Last night I was in the MSR Zoic two person tent. Whereas last night was clear, tonight is also clear. 
but there is a chance of snow later on tonight. Maybe some freezing rain, who knows. Honestly, I think the chance is rather slim. The radar really doesn't show much, but anything's possible. Now, there is something unfortunate. Because of the issues that I had with the previous model, because of the recall, because I got the, the replacement so late into the season, the winter season, there is a possibility that I will not get to test this tent out in like winter storm conditions and that's a shame because i really wanted to because i can't test the tent out in those conditions i can't review it unfortunately of course i could make assumptions on how well this tent would perform but i'm not going to do that that's not how i do my reviews if i can't test a product out 100 percent in every single way i don't review it plain and simple yeah we shall see i mean it's possible that we will get some more snow but as every day passes it's just getting warmer and warmer it's less and less likely, so. This really is a four season tent that I want to excel. I really like the design of this tent. It has a lot going for it. It's not perfect by any means. Based upon the design, should handle extremely strong winds. Snow loading like crazy. You have the double wall, so it should block the wind. It should be warmer. The biggest issue, in my opinion, are the exoskeleton poles. The poles are exposed. And as we saw in the previous test night episode where the model leaked, those poles will ice up and it's a huge problem. If you're in a situation where those poles get wet, they freeze, you can have a serious problem on your hands. It could be a real pain to melt those things to get them apart. That is this tent's biggest flaw. Is it a deal breaker? No, it's not. Anyways, everyone, I'll talk about this tent in more detail tomorrow, just like I did with the MSR tent. I'm going to share with you all a lot more of my thoughts about this shelter system because there's no guarantee that I'm going to be able to fully review this because it's so late into the season. I just don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'd like to say that we're going to get another really good snowstorm, but I just don't know. This has been a very snowy winter. I'm certainly not complaining by any means when it comes to snowfall. So um, if the snow gods want to bless us with more snow, that, that would be appreciated, but I'm completely content with what we got here. Anyways, everyone, this is a ventilation, condensation, airflow, moisture control test night. So I'm going to stay here tonight. We'll see how well it handles all of those factors. And I will talk to you all in the morning. Good night, everybody. See you soon. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Ah. I'll tell you what, I love double wall tents. Inside of this shelter, it has got to be 45. I mean, it feels amazing. Okay, everyone, these are my thoughts concerning the Catamount 2 tent. The tent went through roughly 12 to 14 hours of rain, roughly a quarter inch of rain. There was no leaking at all. The setup process is super simple, especially for a four season tent. The ventilation is excellent. There was a little bit of moisture forming on the inside of the fly last night. It froze, but as soon as the sun came up, everything melted. There's a little bit of a breeze this morning, so everything's dry. You will have condensation at certain times in certain events, but it's not going to be bad. You have a separation between the fly and the body here, so yeah, you will be good to go. The tent for a two-person is very spacious. This is really like a two-and-a-half person tent. There's plenty of room here for two large individuals and their gear. Plus, you have the space with the vestibules. You have the two doors, easy to get in and out of. As you can see, the height here is excellent. Without a doubt, this tent is very stable. It was easily handling winds up to 30 miles an hour the other day with no issues. Now with all of these positives, there are of course some things that you have to keep in mind. Not necessarily negatives, but some hindering aspects. For one, this tent is gigantic. The form factor when it's stuffed is huge and it is very heavy. So those are aspects that you really do need to keep in mind. Light Fighter really has done an amazing job when it comes to this situation. I had the issue, they investigated, they found a problem with the latest run or the previous run, I should say. They recalled it, that's pretty awesome, it really is. That wraps up this episode of Test Night. Share your thoughts down below in the comment section. I appreciate it. What do you all think about Light Fighter? What do you all think about this tent? Is it too big? Is it too heavy? Do those aspects not matter for you? Everyone, take care. Strength and honor. Bye, everybody. running deep I 
I can't see, but I know it. There's something's now.